just me and my lonely self. Patrick's at, uh, he, he said he was going to be here by the time we started the live feed. Hopefully, I did it right. I don't, oh, you know what? I'm not see, seeing any audio. How about now? Okay, let's see. Um, let me see. We'll do that. And then, can you hear me? I'm not seeing the uh, the thing. Go oh, you know what? I think I think you can you can see it or hear it. Um, so I guess I'll just talk about a couple of things, and we can talk about some classes that are coming up. How about we don't talk about shipping today? That'd be nice, right? Um, so I did want to talk to you about the brother order. Because we did get some stuff and we're still getting through it. So I stayed late last night and I got through, like caught up on online. Not that I filled all the orders, but I know everything that's kind of going on. So today we'll be finishing up working on the online orders. I still have not even gotten to my email. So now that I've got online kind of in my mind and under control, today I'm gonna work on on uh, email. So if you've emailed me something and you haven't heard back, Today will be the day. So um, I'll go through all that, all the Kimberbell orders that were sent to me online. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. That's the plan. So we'll finish up uh, getting online orders together. Uh, if you ordered rope, rope sold out and Kimberbell sold out. And everybody is sold out of the Kimberbell rope. I do have gypsy quilter rope. I would say the gypsy quilter rope is the same stiffness and like sewing through. So it, it gives you like a nice firm bowl. It's not as thick. I'd say it's like 75% as thick. So your bowl would be 75% as small. It's a lot cheaper. It's uh, $8.99 for a for 100 feet. And the Kimberbell stuff is $20.99. So um, if you want a substitution, let me know. Otherwise, um, I can either cancel that part of your order or you can wait for it to be filled. We should have it in end of April, beginning of May, which is right around the corner. Because I sent some people emails yesterday and I was like, well, do you want to wait for your stuff mid-May? And I was like, that's like not far away. It's April 10th, which I thought was so crazy that it's just kind of gone that fast. So um, that'll be middle of, uh, beginning of May that we should have the rope. I don't know when we're going to have shape form. I think I might have enough to fill all the orders that went in. I'm going to be working on that today. I'll reach out to you if we don't have it. But that's the update on rope and um, the rope and the shape form. I'll be reaching out to everyone. Um, okay, so we talked about the brother order. What, that's going to be Patrick's agenda today. Patrick is going to be working on more brother stuff. Things we didn't get in. So if you uh, are waiting, I didn't get in my flash frames for the multi-needle. I didn't get my 8x8 slide-ons. I haven't gotten my thread stands. Um, so there's a couple of things I haven't gotten in that's kind of holding up some of the orders. Is that it? There might be some other stuff. I didn't get my tubular frames. Um, there's some stuff that I haven't gotten yet, but we're going to be working on that. I think if I, I, I think if I stay tonight and maybe tomorrow I can get, I can get caught up and we can be ready to go. But, um, so Monday, good morning, rope. Thank you, Miss Heather. And I changed down on there. Karen, your bridging set is here. So I just haven't reached out to you about but about that, but I have that for you. Um, <clears throat> Monday. So I haven't even prepped for quilting through the seasons. So guess what I'm doing on Monday? And I'm going to live feed it. Just to make sure that I have that, that I'm accountable. I'm going to schedule that. So on Monday, which is uh, the 15th, some of you are going to be in Michelle's class. She's got software. Should I wait until the afternoon? I don't know. I'm going to, I have a feeling 
it's going to take all day. Who's prepped for quilting through the seasons? And I still have some of the, I still have some of the fabric kits and I still have some of the embellishment kits. And once they sell out, it's gone. You're not going to be able to get it. And you're going to have to kit it yourself. And I don't, I mean, I don't know. So this is quilting through the seasons. If you don't get what it is, it's a ladder quilt. It's big. It's totally sizable. It's 20 by 60 inches. It looks like this. And um, what you do is you make that one quilt and then it has all these interchangeable accessories and embellishments. So like one of them says like bloom and then the summer one says sunny. Um, and then there's going to be all of these little fun things. And something that's great about this is you don't have to do it like this. You can use all of those embellishments and do other things with them. So um, I'm going to start that. And that is going to be on Monday. And I'll let you know, I like to kind of decide things at the last minute. So maybe on Friday, I'll like make a decision. Um, maybe I'll start it in the afternoon because sometimes I just like to have a morning to myself. So maybe I'll start that in the afternoon and I'm just going to be, I'm going to just be kidding. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm just going to be prepping. Uh, so I'll get that prepped and then I'd say on the 22nd, I'm going to start stitching it out. Hello Sunshine. We still have some kits for that. I say I'm going to start Hello Sunshine. Let me get into, um, let me get into quilting through the seasons and then uh, I think Hello Sunshine We'll start that at the we'll start that at the beginning of May, and maybe I'll do the same thing. I'll do like a prep day, and then I'm gonna be double fisting that. Like morning, we're gonna be doing quilting through the seasons. Afternoon, we'll do um, Hello Sunshine. And are you looking at me like she did it? I'm like, uh, like I can't even remember. Remember the commercial, <laughs> like where the kids Making like the I did it. Oh myself <laughs> is that what you think of me and i'm like that's like kind of like you right now yeah like, normally i get the panic phone call i don't know anything i you know why because i opened it up and it was right there it was right there i just had to hit go live <laughs> did you put it on facebook nope i don't know how to do that how i'm gonna learn not know how to do that I don't know how, I don't want to know. Because I love when you take care of me. That's what I love. I love being dependent. You do love being dependent. <laughs> the more dependent you are, the less you have to do. As long as you have a good man servant like I do. He got home yesterday and he cleaned the gutters. What else did you do? You did like all sorts of stuff. If I didn't have Patrick, it would be condo living for me. I would I would be out of that house so fast. I'm beginning to uh, think I'm feeling condo you living are, too. Yeah. <laughs> right? Who wants to do yard? You know what? I'm jealous I of people that like yard work. Totally enjoy yard work. Because some people love being out. You love being out in the sun and you love like getting your hands dirty and you love gardening. I love the idea of it. But then when I start to, it's like painting. I'm like, oh, painting looks like so much fun. And then oh you my start God, doing it. I don't think that's so much fun at all. It looks like, it looks I don't, like, how does painting look like fun? Because you're just like painting doing a looks like manual or you're labor just to doing me. like this and cutting. It looks like fun to me. And then whenever I start doing it, I don't, I'm like, I'm so done. That's how, like sage. But Alice is like, that's from a shake and bake commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Alice remembers that. I did it all by myself. I don't remember. It was shake and bake was one of those things like growing up as a kid because I, growing you up in were Connecticut. Like wanted shake and bake yeah, so bad. Growing up in Connecticut, like I lived in, it was like Little Korea in my house. It was like I it wasn't was, even Little Korea. It was Little Lee Land. Little Lee Land. Like I lived. Because then you go to Korea and you're like, Koreans don't live like this. <laughs> so 
but but all I all we ate was Korean food. Like we never had any of that stuff. So I would see those commercials on TV, and I was like, oh my god, I hope someday I can have shake and bake. <laughs> like, and I think, aim high, Jeannie, aim high. I think when I when I moved into like um, it was like one of those things when I finally had my own place or I did my own shopping. I bought shake and bake. And I bought Hamburger Helper. Like, those were two things I was like, or tuna casserole. Like, I always wanted to eat stuff like that. We never had it. Oh, my God. So, I bought tuna helper and made, like, the tuna (laughs) helper casserole. And then, like, I was like, I'm not a casserole person. Like, I don't want my meat to touch my (laughs) vegetables. Like, I want it I all mind. separate. I want, like, a nice piece of meat and then some vegetables, maybe a salad, some fruit on the side. I don't want it all in one big thing. And uh, the only thing I like like that is red beans and rice. And uh, the um, – so I made tuna helper casserole. Was it so good? <laughs> No, I literally, I literally was like, what the hell are people talking about? Like, why is this, why is this something that people like? And then, uh, I still, I still, if you served it to me, I would eat it and I would enjoy it. I I love that kind of stuff. I love it all mixed together. I was just like, I was just like, oh my God, this is what people talked about. Do they still have manwich? What is a manwich? That was oh, like, you, was mixed like up, you mixed it up. You mixed it up with, uh, with, uh, ground meat. with ground meat. Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people that I still love all of that. I, I love it. I ate tuna last night. I made myself uh, tuna milk. Yes, that is my stomach. Don't look at me. Isn't that like tuna and cheese all melted together? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, I made tuna salad and then I See, put all it of this, on sourdough all of this and covered talk it with some cheese. It's making me hungry. What did you eat for dinner last night? I didn't eat anything. I had oh a cu- handful of nuts. You were fasting. I was intermittent <laughs> fasting. So, um, uh, I do have uh, Cindy West was asking if we have the Lori Holt Zippy panel. I have like one or two left of um, Zippy Panel 1 and Zippy Panel 2 with the zippers, Uh, but I'm going to be ordering more, and if you didn't hear me mention it, they're coming out with another one, and that's going to be out. It's not going to be out until October or November, but it's going to be here before you know it, and it is cute. And uh, and we're also, Michelle's going to do another sew along because there's a Minky Kim like bag one, and oh my goodness, that is so cute. Like, when I saw it, I was like... Because it was so cute. I love yeah. her anyway. Yeah. And I, I told Michelle, you're going to love this. And sh- she looked at it. She was like, I do love it. So uh, let me order. You know what's so great about the zippy bags? And maybe we'll do another sew along, but there's so many other things we need to do. Um, Karen, if you watched Karen Bowles' video, she did the large zippy bag um, She did, for Hoppy Easter, the panel, the Hoppy Easter pillow panel. She did the large size, and it fits your pop rulers perfectly. So it fits the rectangular and the square ones perfectly. So... Um, Yes. And, you know, I did a sew along. There was a sew along that you could just watch at any time. But uh, it's on my things to do, and I will be ordering more of those. Patrick put me on another spending freeze. I didn't put you on a spending freeze. I was just like, he, you need to be self aware. Yes. He should of he, your he, spending limits. He sits me. He sits me down and like he sits me down and makes me look at the, and tells me about the credit cards and I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to think it's just space. Put it through. Can you put my card? She's through? like, we got to be doing great right now, and I'm like, yeah, you spent more than that. <laughs> it fabric's expensive. Even even at wholesale, it's expensive. Right. And there's so much great stuff. And it was so hard because um, Mario was in here. And then, you know, I uh, I have. We love Mario. Yes. And, and Kim, 
and sun and they're so wonderful and when they come in they start showing me all the fabric it's so hard to say no it's so hard no, anyhow I'm like no no. no, you know what Patrick said, and this is why I got in such big trouble. Patrick told Mario all he had to tell me was just get it. That was like two years ago. Yeah, and I was like, okay. and I was still getting it. I was still getting it. Okay, um, can you tell? Glory says, thank you for getting the kits out so fast. I saw her with a whole bunch of other packages that are going to go out. So, yeah, that you're getting your stuff. And they're cute kits. You know, if you didn't get into Michelle's curated class, she's going to have more. And maybe, maybe it's just the people that didn't get into this one get into the other one first, Michelle. I don't know. I don't know if that work, can work that way. That's too hard. To, too complicated. It's too it complicated. It's complicated. You gotta be. It's like concert You tickets. gotta be fast on the. Uh, it's like Ticketmaster, you gotta get on there. Yeah, she you said gotta, it's like it's like it's like Adele tickets. You gotta. Don't remind me of the Adele tickets. I don't want to talk about it either. We got ripped off. We didn't. That was our fault. No, we got ripped off. What? Closing night, da 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 da, da. Oh, that whole situation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Us. Yeah, we, we bought tickets for closing night because it's our it was our anniversary, which is coming up again, where we oh can God, celebrate. Do you remember? This? I didn't remember, but Sage did. <laughs> <laughs> Sage remembered. She's uh, like, your anniversary is coming up. I was like, oh my God, you're right. We bought tickets to the Adele show for closing night. And then she changed it. And then she added all this. No, she all canceled. This. She yes. was just like, no, she, I can't do it. She canceled. First she canceled. And then she added all these shows. And then it was no longer like that special closing night. On well, they didn't even give us the closing we were gonna night tickets we back. Were, we were going to make out at the Adele show on, the, on closing night. That's what I was planning. <laughs> when she was singing like one of her love ballads. I had to decide. We had a friend one. who's like, he's like totally a rocker. Like he loves rock. And he took his son to see Adele. No, he, he took, took his, his son, son to see, to see U2. U2. His son said, I'll only go to U2 if you take me to Adele. And then we were like, how was it? And he was like, oh my God, Adele. Yeah, <laughs> like it wouldn't have been the show that he would have picked to have gone Yeah, to. he just said it was the most incredible show. Yeah, it was pretty. I, I always think it's incredible when you see somebody and it's it, they sound exactly like, you know, they, they, they're not auto-tuned. They just sound that good. You know, you know who else is like that? Stevie Nicks. If you've never seen Stevie, oh my goodness twirling around on stage with all her scarves with and her, just like, singing. With her, like, dress. She's so amazing. Okay. Um, Too many secrets. Who has secrets? You have a secret? Tell me. I want to know. <laughs> I love secrets. Don't tell Patrick. Patrick's leaky. Leaky pale. All right. Um, what else do we have to talk about? Uh... We need to do the giveaway. I don't even know. Did you talk anything business wise? We've been yeah. talking about. Yeah, so we're not talking. About, we're not talking about shipping. And I told them we're not talking that, about that's, shipping. We don't need to talk about shipping. Um, we talked about the brother order. We talked about my agenda, your agenda. You're gonna work on brother stuff today. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work. At, here, let me style it. I'm going to work on uh, finishing up Kimberbelt orders and answering emails. So if you sent me an email and you haven't heard back, I'm going to be getting back to you today. And um, was there anything else? I think she meant TMI. <laughs> TMI? Oh, oh, you mean about us making out at the Adele concert? Nobody ever said we had a, a G-Rating. I was, I was just kidding. That's not really yeah, happening. <laughs> there would have been some hugging. Some hugging. Cheek to cheek. That's it. All right. Um, I'm trying to think if there's Wouldn't anything else. Dancing? Let's see if there's uh, some classes coming up. So, oh, I did want to talk to you about this. Make it mini. We're done. 
Um, what what we're gonna do, Michelle and I were talking about it last night, and it's really like teaching those class, like teaching some of the classes over and over and over again can be really exhausting for us. So what we're gonna do is after Michelle does the scan and cut. Uh, class and the make it mini class she's going to pick the best ones and you can purchase it so you can purchase it after the fact um, with the kit so then you can work along to that class at your own leisure and a lot of people do that anyways they just buy the class and then they watch it later on but um, those classes are like at capacity so you'll be able to purchase it afterwards I know a lot of people are excited about learning those techniques like taking uh, you know cutting your pieces out and then taking those designs and putting it into IQ Designer. And we're doing so much other amazing stuff too. So she's going to be doing an applique class, a skin and cut applique class. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, the, the towel class and like all that stuff is, let me, let us just get the stuff that we're working on done and then we'll get those classes put up. So we have a lot of amazing, don't want to miss it classes. Is there a prep class for Make It Mini? A prep class or a prep video? Prep video. Prep video, yes. Um, I don't think I've got it up yet. I think I finished it up last week. So it's just, it. yeah, it'll, the prep video will <coughs> go up sometime this week, by the end of the week, you think, Michelle? Um, actually, I just need to get, I can probably get it posted today. I just need to yeah, combine it. Yeah, so it, it, it'll, it'll get put up this week. So the prep video will get put up it'll this go week. In both the Facebook group, uh, probably go in the Facebook group for, groups first. Um, and then I'll mash it together and put it up on YouTube. Okay. So they'll they'll be available in two different spots. Just not ready right now, but it'll be ready this week. Uh, there is, on Friday, there's a Design Center IQ Designer class for the Solaris and Luminaire. And we do... the, the we, that machine, those machines are different enough that we don't mix it with the other classes because it might be confusing. But if you have never taken, um, if you are not familiar with your IQ designer and design center uh, for the Solaris and Luminaire, this is a fantastic class to show you the buttons, to introduce you to line properties, to introduce you to fills, to just kind of give you a preview of all the different buttons and sizing and um, all that different stuff. So get signed up for that. You can sign up for that uh, online. We don't do this class a lot, so. It's also a pre-rec for the Make It Mini. So, it's a so the, uh, regarding the Facebook groups, Karen, if you just look in our groups and search Make It Mini, like you can request we don't send an invite you need to make the request oh you know what patrick i've been attaching it to the supply list it's in the and supply in list the supply if list. you're yeah. signed up look in your supply list and don't wait till the last minute to look through your supply list because sometimes there's supplies that you're going to need for the class um let's see next week next week uh there's going to be a design center iq class for the Stellar, Altair, Meridian, uh, XE1, XJ1, XE2, XJ2, all of those machines with the app, that's going to be next Tuesday. And again, we don't do that this class often, so get signed up for it. And there is Momo. Uh, get to know your scan and cut. Hey. Get to know your scan and cut is going to be on the 18th. If you haven't gotten your kit yet and you're signed up for that, reach out to us and let us know so we can get you your kit. Um, Sometimes, if we ever miss stuff, uh, yeah, don't wait till the last unlock. minute go, I think I'm supposed to have a kit for that. You are supposed to have a kit for that class, so reach out to us and let us know. And the raggy flower box, can you grab the raggy flower? Michelle, could you bring that over, the raggy flower box? Uh, we still have kits for that. We still have room for that. That's going to be on the 19th. We should move his crate. We will, but. Sorry about those breeders. Yep. That is, yeah. So this is. This is the class. There is some prep. Don't wait to the last minute. There's prep for this class, and we have kits. And this is going to be just a fun sewing class with Michelle. And it's IQ Designer. This flower that she created right here, that was done in IQ Designer. So, um, yeah, get signed up for that. That's going to be on the 19th. The following week after that, is going to where she starts the make it mini scan cut and I'm going to be doing the serger. I've had a lot of people ask about sergers. Sergers, um, what's the best we'll serger? Patrick's going to reach out, but I also have a serger demo that I did last year 
that I walk through all the different sergers and maybe kind of help you pick out what's the best serger for you. They are the baby lock sergers and um, I can send you that video. So if you're, or you can do a search for it. It's, it was, um, I think if you look serger demo, and it was done, I did it in April last year, and they're public videos, and you can watch that, or else I can send you the links. Can't wait. Um, Stephanie, email Michelle about the Facebook links, and um, yeah, email her about that. And at the end of the month, there's going to be more Make It Mini. Oh, kids are ready. I don't know if I put them up yet, but kids are, I have kids ready for, let me go grab them, really? I'll make sure these go up today, but we have the, I mean, this is for June and this is going to be the kit for July. See how on top of it we are? And if you're going to be doing the May project, which is going to be the belt bag, you're really, I still never put up the colors. I'm so sorry. It's just been so busy. Um, you're, all you're getting is you're getting the, you're getting the, the belt. I still haven't put it up. I know. The bell kit and the canvas bags, which I'm totally sold out of the canvas bags, but I'm going to have more tomorrow. Um, they were, we used them in the, in the uh, day at the spa class. So the, for May, you need the bell kit and you need the canvas bag. These are the other kits and I'll put this up. June and July. Aren't they cute? Because we're doing the, the tic-tac-toe pouch and then this is going to be the flower blossom what it's it's loud it's getting crazy in here yeah we gotta go so let's do this you can, can walk the dog and you want to do that now we need to do the giveaway and then we're going to wrap things up so we can get to work because you know it's all a little overwhelming so we are going to be giving away some anita good design cds and um why don't should we just pick out three people and then they can i'll send them pictures and you can just choose that's way too complicated. It's adding Why? work to your plate. You just pick them, and those are what we're giving away. Why add more work to your plate? This is what Jeannie loves to do. She's like, I'm so busy. I work until midnight, and then let me add more work to my plate. Okay. So, so uh, what if they don't have an embroidery machine? Then With they need to summer get one. and spring coming up. <laughs> <laughs> if if you don't have an embroidery machine, um, should I give him like a? You're creating more I'm work creating for the give. Work. I'm creating for the more giveaway. Work. So give away like two to two people. So there you go. You've got two oh, and two. Two and two. There you go. All right. Okay, first person. And there was no question. No question. First person. Isn't this cute? This is a... Uh, they like, can't see it. Okay. A sunflower <laughs> wall hanging and then these adorable pouches. These are super cute. It is Kathy DeGruff. Kathy, I have something else going out for you. So I'm going to put your name on this. So show Kathy what she won. Miss Kathy, you won both of these. I, I mean, look at this. is spectacular. These are pouches. Isn't that like adorable? And then I love this sun, sunflower design. So this is for Kathy. I had a notepad right here. Oh, here. I'm going to do it with this. Do it with nope. This. I'm going to do it with this so I can keep it together. And Kathy, I'm pretty sure I like put something together for you yesterday. Or I'm working on putting something together for you. So I will make sure this goes out with uh, that. And then the other one we're going to do. I, I got it, Patrick. I, want, I like Sharpie on this. What? What? I have, like, there's a method to my madness. Okay, do the next one, Patrick. Um, And then the next two, which which are the, uh, is it these two that we're doing? Yeah. And I thought this was so cute. Here. So, show so this is going to be a flo floraganza, like extravaganza floraganza. And um, it's all of these flowers. And then this, I love their mix and match quilts. Um, and this is going to be their fall traditions. And uh, and these were like 60 bucks, I think. These were not cheap. So uh, these are the two designs that we're going to give away next. 
If you don't have an embroidery machine, Patrick says we got to make it easy. You can give you it can, to your friend. Or or call us and we'll get you an embroidery machine. Oh, yeah. Machine. We're doing some crazy <laughs> deals on um, Luminaires. If you I have are a looking. used Aventura 2. We have a used Aventura 2. So lightly used, too. So we have a used Ad Aventura 2 if you want a great price on that. Or, I mean, an amazing price. Okay. We have the best classes. I do not know L who. L Fines. At L Fines. At L Fines. Lady Fair. Oh, Lady Fair. Congratulations, Lady Fair. We know you. That's Miss LaDonna. Okay, Miss LaDonna, you are a winner. Which reminds me, I still need to do something else for last week. Okay, I think we're good. We covered everything. We covered everything. Did we we're talk anything cover. about the store, or was it mostly about Manwich? Oh my god, <laughs> you're my Manwich. I know. If I told Jeannie I was going to give her a Manwich, she'd be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you had to hear that, ladies. So, uh, so, uh, okay, we'll see you tomorrow, and have a great day. And Over now.